Nation today. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> today is a very special occasion as it is our first Maverick Letter of Intent of 2023, but it is also our first female Letter of Intent that we've had in close to four years. So this is an extra special Letter of Intent. <laughs> Today we are all here to recognize and applaud the merits of your very own Gina Garillo as she is about to sign her national letter of, of intent to play for Dallas Christian College. At this time, it is my honor to introduce to you your principal, Mr. Jesus Diaz Weaver, to welcome you all to his campus. Thank you, Daniela. Good morning, everyone. What a great pleasure for CC Win every time we have a student who is signing a letter of intent. And this morning is about Gina. Congratulations, Gina. We wish you the best of luck on behalf of CC Win administration and staff. We want the best for you. I know that you're going to do great at Dallas Christian College, and you're going to play softball, and that's awesome. Thank you. That shows the perseverance, the commitment of a player, of a student. And I want for all of you here, my student body, that uh, that's what it takes to have the discipline to accomplish things in life. And that's what she did. So anybody that wants to do something you know, with the life that they have, have in mind, it is very possible. And Gina is a true example of everything that we want for the students to do. So Gina and friends and uh, the mother, I mean, congratulations. And we wish you the best of luck. And, and well, I know that you're going to be playing softball, but we want also for you to do very well in your academics and get that college diploma. OK, so thank you again for being here. To the guests that are here, thank you so much. And all the student body that, that are supporting Gina, thank you for being here, the different English classes that we have here. And the goat, who, the goat, you deserve it, go Gina, all right. <laughs> thank you, have a nice day. Thank you, Mr. Diaz. And now we welcome to the podium your athletic coordinator, Coach Eric Villasenor. Morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. And, and it's always a, a great morning when we get to celebrate uh, one of our own. And, and Gina, on behalf of the entire athletic department here at Wynn High School, we want to wish you nothing but the best. Mom, Want to wish you all the best uh, in the next chapter of your career and also want to wish you the best of luck this softball season. I know you're going to do great, nothing but great things ahead of you. Earn your college degree and always give back to the community that you choose to serve. Hopefully it will be ours uh, when it's all said and done. But uh, want to wish you all the best. Uh, you got a, a great fan base, a great support system here who believes in you, who knows you're going to excel at the next level and uh, it's always a pleasure to see that from our student body, from our teachers, from our administration, everybody involved here at Wynn High School that makes it special. So I want to wish you nothing but the best. Congrats and go Crusaders, go Lady Maps. Great job. Thank you, Coach. Today, as I said earlier, we are here to recognize the athletic merits of Ms. Gina Carillo. And to give us a little bit more insight on how great she plays on that diamond, we have your new Lady Maverick coach, Coach Tony Martinez. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, here we go. 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 Good morning. Um, thank you all for being here on Gina's special day. Um, 
It's a, this is a great accomplishment for Gina, and um, thank you all for being here. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Gina's mom for all the sacrifices that she's made throughout her years of traveling, waking up early, taking her out of town, and all those sacrifices that she made for Gina for just so she could play. Um, you know, I've seen her post when she wakes up early and she's driving somewhere and she's out there in the heat and the cold and whatever, and that's a great a testament to how much she wanted Gina to be out there enjoying life and playing the, the game that she loves, you know. So congratulations, Gina's mom. Let's give a good round of applause. Um, yes, I'm nervous. Um, I told Gina that, look at what she's making me do. But you know what, I'll do anything for the girls because you know I have a great opportunity to coach them this year. Um, I've been fortunate enough to know Gina since she was in seventh grade, and I've seen her, you know, her rise through these last couple of years and how much she loves this sport. Um, a couple of weeks ago, she questioned my love for it, that she loved it more than me, you know, but you know, we're still, we're gonna debate on that, whether she loves it more or I do. But you know what, it's a privilege to coach her. Hopefully I'm able to instill something in her that she's able to, you know, sustain for the rest of her life. The good thing is that she has a great head on her shoulders. I know she's gonna accomplish a lot of things out there. And hopefully one day she's able to come back, you know, and coach for me, or if I'm still here, you know, but, other than that, you know, thank you, Gina. Love you. You know, congratulations, you know, on everything that you're going to accomplish in life. Mom, congratulations. Your sisters, everything, you know. So, go Mavs. Today, we are here to recognize Gina as she is about to sign a letter of intent to play softball. But as most of you know, she's also pretty amazing on the volleyball court, too, right? So I think it would be, yeah, there you go, make some noise. <laughs> so I think it would be remiss if we did not call up her volleyball coach to say a few words about her talent as well. So let's welcome to the podium, Coach Corina Benavides. Good morning, everyone. Um, I think it was back in August or September that I shared a story with Gina and her mom as Gina was receiving her award for athlete, for scholar athlete of, of the district. And even as a young eight-year-old sitting at her older sister's practice, we were there and she was just dancing away on that bleacher, sitting there, sitting there, you know, little Gina with her glasses and her braid. That's my first memories of her. And always there and frustration because the girls kept missing the ball and she just wanted to be out there showing them how it should be done. And finally she got the call. One of the coaches invited her to go out there and right away she grabbed her softball bag and rolled around and put on her catcher's gear and got behind that plate. No fear. As an eight-year-old she was already determined to play hard and show everyone what she got out there in that diamond. And ever since then seeing her grow up playing sports, whether it was volleyball or softball, She's always had that determination and uh, work ethic. She loves to really work hard, and most importantly, she competes. And that is amazing, and it's paid off. She's signing her letter of intent today, and it's exciting to see one of our own sign that letter, and it's, um, it's wonderful, and, and thank you for that experience, for your hard work and all your dedication that you gave to the Lady Mavericks. And I wish you nothing but the best, and congratulations to all of you. Well deserved. Thank you. Less than 2% of all high school athletes get to call themselves collegiate athletes. We get to sit here and watch this amazing event happen for Gina. And we've heard countless people come up and talk about her determination, her drive. But what drives her? I think it comes from having a strong support system. And I was there at the event that Coach Benny just talked about, about the scholar, when Gina was recognized as scholar athlete by Peter Piper. And her mom showed up and was like ready to go, was taking pictures. And I think that that's part of the reason why we're here right now. Because if you don't have a strong support system, 
you won't become a part of that 2% because you need someone who you know is gonna have your back no matter what. So let's give a big round of applause to Gina's greatest supporter, her mom, Christina. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Primero que nada, gracias a Dios por permitirnos estar aquí en esta mañana. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. We are here, we are here gathered today to celebrate this big accomplishment for Georgina Carrillo, also known as Gina, or as I call her, G. Let me tell you a little bit about Gina. Gina was born 17 years ago. She has three sisters, two older sisters, Stephanie Karime, and her younger sister, Jessica. Gina was tiny and short when she started playing softball. It was in her second grade at age seven. That's when she fell in love with softball. It all started at Robert E. Lee Elementary with Miss Patty Martinez, who was a volunteer coach at that time. She always told me, Gina's natural and she's really good. She guided her footsteps and I really thank her for that. I then decided to join and help out to see what this was all about. I now had to be, I, I had now stopped to be a mom and I had to start to be in her coach. Believe me, coaching my own daughter was not easy. During her years at Robert Lee, we had some of the volunteers that I would like to give thanks for helping us out. Coach Efraín Cuevas, thank you for volunteering your time. Thank you for your time and helping me get to this team going year after year. And an also big thank you for always watching her in her high school years. Gina always felt safe knowing that she could go, go to you for help. I wanna thank Ms. Vanessa Gonzalez. Though she is no longer with us, I bet she's ex extremely happy. Ms. Gonzalez loved coaching, whether it was volleyball, basketball, or softball in Robert Lee. May she rest in peace. Gina has been able to experience lots of adventures throughout the years. She joined several travel teams, starting with Heroes Fast Pitch with coach Henry Montalvo. He coached her and also trained her how to pitch and catch. Yes, Gina pitched in her younger years but she said that was not her thing. She, she then joined a Roadrunners with Coach Martin Duran and Coach Dunn. The best part of this was that Gina was playing along with her side with her older sister, Karime. How cool was that? I had two for one. Gina also participated in the city, in the city summer leagues programs. And in one occasion, we made it to state and brought home the victory. Thanks to Coach Duran and Coach Dunn for this wonderful moment. There were some other coaches that were part of Gina's softball history. Coach Jose Carrillo, Coach Martinez with the Eagle Pass Bombers, Coach Velasquez with the Rio Angels. These two travel teams were a higher division, but little Gina was not scared. She never say no, she loved the competition. Thank you coaches for giving her the opportunity to experience the higher level. Currently, Gina's travel team arsenal out of Pearsall, Texas, has just been her home, for for her home team for several years now. A big shout out to Coach Karina Robledo, who started this program. Thanks, Karina, for believing in Gina and taking her to be part of this organization. The, the, the arsenal organization was then taken over by Georgie Cavazos Jr., who had no idea what to do with these girls because he was only working with boys. I remember speaking with Georgie and, he tell, and him telling me, don't leave us, we'll work something out. It was then with the help of coaches like AJ Frausto, Tiffany, Coach Rivera, Coach Chiro Ramirez, that they're all from out of town, that the program continue. Thank you coaches for everything you did. Last but not least came along the person that would change everything for us. Coach George Cavazo Sr., or as we know him, Coach C. 
A new story for Gina had begun. Gina started to experience different events like participating in the International po World Pony World Series. Every summer, every summer we would go out and compete. Gina met people from different places like Russia, Mexico, Puerto Rico, she's the Republican, and so many more. The best part of these events was that she had the opportunity to interact with different people and the collection of the, of, team, of the different teams was the best part. This would have not been possible if it wasn't for the dedication that Coach C put into, and not to forget the dads that this, did this possible, Coach Dimas, Coach Salas, and our team on Mary Salas. Thank you, for our, thank you for everything and for your dedication and time and support. Oh, and don't forget, I was also a team mom and the scorekeeper. From the bottom of my heart, Coach, Coach C, I will never forget those long talks, all your guidance, being my mentor, all those messages back and forth, always getting ready for that next journey, and not to mention all those tournaments you would host to keep the youth playing. Coach C has really become a family. You were always there when I needed that advice. And now, how nice is it that Gina gets to call you grandpa? Because that's, that means a lot to her. You will always be her grandpa. Once again, thank you for walking us through this journey and helping us get here. We love you, Coach C. Okay, I would also like to thank the volleyball girls. Adi, Bree, Vivi, Eileen, thank you ladies for always being here for Gina and her good times and her bad ones. My boys that I love so much, George, Mark, Jacob, and of course, my dear Brian. Thank you guys for everything, for always being there for Gina and supporting her in all her games, whether it be volleyball or softball. To all high school coaches, Coach Benny, you've seen it all, from volleyball to softball. A big thank you for everything. Who better than you knows all Gina's flaws? And thank you for helping me organize this event. Coach Perez, I told you soccer was not her thing. You tried to steal her to play for you for the past four years. We were close once, but nah, it didn't happen. Thank you for always being there at her games and supporting her. You know, you really helped her out a lot, and, her, and you mentored her all the way. Thank you, Coach Perez. Coach Martinez, thank you for coming back to this program. Thank you for your time and your support. Gina's not the, be the best pitcher out there, but she knows the basics and is willing to help you out during the season. It sure feels nice to see her pitch one more last time, bringing back all those good memories. And to all the coaches that were involved in Gina's life, Thank you for taking care of her in all her ups and downs, in all her goods and bad moments. I know we had our moments, but we all came through. Her love for the sport did not stop her. To the sisters that have always told me she's my favorite. No, she's not. I love you all the same. She only keeps me more busy. A toda mi familia, mis amistades, gracias por su apoyo y por estar aquí en este día. A la familia Carrillo, gracias por venir a apoyar a Gina en este día tan especial para ella. A la familia Rodríguez, Janie, Julio, gracias por su apoyo especialmente. A mi pareja Julio, mi amor, gracias por el apoyo que le has brindado a Gina con todas sus, con todas sus actividades. Muchísimas gracias. And to Gina, we made it. Everything we worked for and all the effort you put on pays off at the end. Remember, you can do anything that you set your mind to. It's been an awesome 10 years along your side, like your coach and like your mom. We had long conversations after games, debriefs of what could we have done better, many fights, many arguments, many miles driven together, hot days, cold days, Sleepless nights, not to mention getting home at one in the morning because your team decided the very last minute that they were going to win the championship. And next day, I had to go to work and you had to go to school. Sorry for all those plays that I missed recording because I was too busy watching you. 
I will sure miss all of this. I know there's great things coming. You just need to be focused and prepared. Gina, I know that I am extremely proud of this young lady who you have become and everything you have accomplished. I know you're ready for the next level in your life. If I had to do everything all over, I would do without any hesitation. I can't wait to see you play in college. Gina, remember to stay humble and always keep that chin up. I love you, baby G. Thank you everyone for coming. And on that note, I think it is time to move on to the moment you've all been waiting for, where we watch pen get put to paper and we watch a lady maverick become a crusader. At this time, we will have the signing of Ms. Gina Carillo to Dallas Christian College. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'll make this short, so thank you for coming out. Um, to all my friends and family, thank you for everything. I wouldn't be here without y'all. To all my high school and travel ball coaches, thank you. To Coach Benny, I mean, you've, you've seen everything, all my ups and downs, but you're one of the reasons why I'm here today, so I thank you, Coach. And Coach Mark. I'm excited to have you back this season. I believe you'll lead our program in the right direction. But besides that, you've done a lot for me. My freshman and sophomore year, you were tough on me, but I think you brought out the best in me. So I thank you for that. To my one and only mom, I mean, I don't even know where to start. You've done everything for me. You're my ride or die. <sighs> All I wanted was for everything to pay off, and it did. But because of you, it did. I love you so much. To my sisters. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you guys for supporting me through everything. And lastly, to my dad. I will love you forever and ever. Thank you for everything, dad. Before every ceremony begins, I always take a few moments to talk to our recipient and their family about how the ceremony starts. And it's always my favorite part because they get to name certain people that have helped them along in their journey. It's people that they want to come up and say a few words who have helped get them here today. Today, Gina has chosen, hold on. I wanna make sure I get the last name right. <laughs> yes. Brian Cruz, Efrain Cuevas, and Coach C. Uh, 
Gina, what can I say to you? You've been working hard for this day and it paid off. And honestly, you do deserve it. Gina, I'm so proud of you. All the things you set up, up from seventh grade up to now, you made it come true, and don't forget that. I love you very much, and I know you're going to go very far in your future. Morning. For those that you don't know me, I know Gina since you were in rubber league, Gina. She was around seven, eight years old, second grade. And back in the day in the rubbery league, we couldn't get a team together to complete all the divisions. So basically, we, from division one and three, we put a team together. So Gina was her pitcher. And she excelled. I was surprised at seeing her growing as a pitcher and how she pitched against older kids. And I'm very proud of you, Gina. Very proud of your accomplishment. I'm glad I was able to be there to help you out, <coughs> excuse me, to whatever I was able to do for you. Uh, make yourself proud to your parents, to your sisters. Congratulations. Congratulations, and Christina, for being always there for you. And um, I wish you the best. Continue pushing forward and breathe. Get this, yeah. Breathe whenever you're pitching. Breathe, okay? So we'll get them, Gina. Congratulations, and I hope you're the best, and God bless you. Short, because y'all know y'all want to go back to class, right? No. No. <laughs> How did I know that? I was a coach for 30 years and they never wanted to go back to class. <laughs> I start off by saying, I don't think I need a microphone, right? No. I start off by saying that uh, I like that uh, Christina still believes in me. I met her when I used to use the size large. I mean, I'm a little bit, it ain't a large anymore, you know? Thank you for t telling me that, right? And uh, I want to also thank her for taking G and Karim out there with us. I still remember that. I think we were 12 years old, 10 years old. They were with us, and they stuck it out, and here they are. And what I want to say is when G picked up her first glove, first ball, first bat, there was a dream. I know the mom knew about that dream at that age. Maybe someday, you know, she'll get to play high school and play college. Once G got a little older, she started seeing and believing and thinking about that dream. If she could go play beyond high school ball. And that dream became a reality today. A while ago, when she put that signature on that paper, that dream came true. And each one of y'all up there have those dreams. Don't ever shy away from any dream that you got. Work at it, and you can attain it. You can achieve it. I guarantee you it happens. But you got to want it. you got to look that dream. Look it straight in the eye and say, I'm going to do it, and you go do it. Like the young lady said a while ago, there's only a small amount, G, that go play at the next level. About a little over 7% go play at the next level, whether it's with academic money or just go walk on and go play. But there's only a little over 1% that actually get athletic money to go play. And G is one of them. G, I congratulate you on your special day, mom, family, everybody here at that table. I congratulate you. You achieved that dream. It's done. Go get him, all right? This definitely is a first. We've never had to stage a setting like that before, so making history once again. <laughs> At this time, it is my absolute honor and pleasure to introduce Mr. Maverick Nation himself, your assistant principal, Mr. Matt Uriaga, has to come up for closing remarks. Morning. Good morning. Yes, we're going to go back to class. 
<laughs> um, I just wanted to congratulate mom on your, your beautiful young ladies because we have a, a beautiful band member. We have a, well, it's a, an award-winning band member who was with us years in the years past. We have a state champion and color guard, winter guard, with us as well. We have a future state champion for color guard, and now we've got a collegiate signing softball player. So I'm, I'm really proud of you, um, ma'am, and the family, and the honor it, that it is for us to get to uh, be a part of your life and the part of their lives and to get them to move them forward. So thank you and congratulations. And Gina, you're intense on the field, you're intense on the court. I hope to continue to see the, in, you'll continue the intensity for the Crusaders. But remember, you got all of us behind you, Maverick Nation. You know, we love you and we wish you the best. Congratulations. To be able to move on to the next step and play collegiately, you can not only excel on the court or on the field, you have to make sure you make your presence known in the classroom as well. And I think Gina definitely exemplifies that because not only is she awesome in volleyball and softball, but she was recognized as one of our scholar athletes this year. And to do that, you have to have a 90 or above GPA. So this girl out here is rocking on and off the field. I think this moment is not surprising to everyone here because she exemplifies what a scholar athlete is. At this time, I would like to ask everyone to please join me as we applaud this remarkable girl one last time, Ms. Gina Garillo, Dallas Christian College's newest crusader. <laughs> <laughs> 